Hello, my name is Ian McCall and this is a video from the Dermoscopy Made Simple series on ink spot lentigos. Why do we have a, a video just on ink spot lentigos? I suppose because they're so distinctive clinically. They really stand out when you're looking at someone's back or someone's face and you have this black, well-defined lesion uh, staring at you. So, they're macular and clinically they're a coal black colour and they certainly attract your attention. When you look at them dermatoscopically what you're going to see are black lines reticular or branched with highly irregular edges, sharply defined and as I say th these features are highly characteristic of the genre. But the network's often quite extensively broken up as well. Histologically marked increase in basal layer hyperpigmentation and this is accentuated at the bases of any reti ridges or bud areas that are there with some skip areas that are clear of pigment and I think that's what gives the broken up sort of network. Melanocytes, they're slightly increased in number but they look normal. So let's have a look at these uh, distinctive lesions. Clinically this is the lesion on someone's back. Often the actual lines that uh, you're seeing in the dermatoscopic views are more obvious than in this. But uh, here's this uh, network combination. was well, mainly lines branched here rather than lines uh, reticular. And this is the classic uh, described picture of an ink spot lentigo. Look how it's uh, an irregular sort of network. There are these various holes here as well. So lines branched, brown, these are the things that it could be, a Clark nevus or congenital nevus, um, but lines branched black usually is an ink spot uh, lentigo. Let's have a look at some of the other examples. This is another one, smaller clinical picture to see you there. See the very irregular edges associated with this. And this is reflected in looking at the the edge of this. See how irregular and broken up the whole things are. Here you've got some lines reticular. Here you've got lines branched. So it's not unusual just to have a little bit of both within a lesion. But lines branched uh, is the uh, pattern that you're going to see most. They vary a little bit. This was one on a boy's nose. I mean, it really stood out, didn't it? I mean, a suspicious dark lesion. Then you have a look at it, and you see again this very irregular edges. The, this one's a little bit more homogeneous uh, here. Um, there are some lines reticular up here. There's some broken branched lines up here. They describe this as being like wire that's been cut and often the edges are very, very sharp. So it's a very distinctive uh, feature, uh, feature, this ink spot lentigo with very irregular wiry edges. This was just shaved off, in fact, because they are very superficial. Um, and shaving will get rid of them quite nicely. Let's have a little look at that histology. Might make this just a touch bigger. There we go. Notice these bud, uh, budding areas that are coming off the epidermis here with the accentuation of pigmentation at the base of these sort of buds. Um, and there's some skip areas often in between. Skip area there as well. So this is the histology that you'll in fact see with uh, an ink spot lentigo. A linear increase in melanocytes here, just a slight increase but an excess of pigment production and little skip areas giving you the broken network. So, ink spot lentigo, very characteristic uh, clinically and certainly an equally characteristic picture when you look at it dermatoscopically. It's difficult to confuse it really with anything else. Thank you very much.